Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel Right, we're going to make a Moroccan style stuffed roast chicken today It's really simple, it's delicious Let me run through some basic ingredients At the back here, we've got some quality olive oil Just here I've got some black olives You could use green if you wanted Here I've got a load of chopped garlic Some almonds there in here I've got some prunes, they've had the stones taken out of them, as have the olives by the way. Some black pepper, some raisins, some salt, some butter, nice chunky butter, that's going to go on the outside of our chicken, and some black pepper. Inside here, let's take a little look, I've got bay leaf, I've got black lemon powder, cumin seeds, nutmeg, couple of cardamoms, I've got cumin and I've got howdy or turmeric. We're going to do this in a couple of stages. Let's get on with the first one. Okay, so in a mixing bowl, I've got some cooked white rice. Now this all depends on how big the bird is that you're using. So um, I'll explain a little bit as we go along. I'm going to put in our prunes, our olives, our raisins. Our almonds. If you want, you can crush those almonds if you wanted to. I like them whole. Then we're going to go in now. Let's take a good look there. I've got here black pepper, bay leaf, the lemon powder. Beautiful that is. Some cumin seeds. I've got a little bit of nutmeg is there as well. You could, if you wanted, use cinnamon. That's kind of quite North African. Uh, and the cumin there, so in it all goes. Now some nice glug of that olive oil. Bit of salt. And we're simply going to give this a good mix together. So we've got some lovely flavours in there, nice and fruity and sweet cumin which is really essential to Moroccan cooking and there you go that's done our stuffing is done let's move on to the next stage which is actually our chicken we haven't seen that yet okay so here's our little chicken I'm only using a small one here not very big at all but just make sure it's been cleaned really well I clean mine inside, put my hand in, give it a good rinse. I cut off the uh, bit of the neck and a bit of the bum. I don't really want that in there. And then I rub it with salt and I soak it with a little bit of lemon juice. That's kind of my way of doing it. Entirely up to you. Okay, so now that butter, I've just melted that slightly. What we're gonna do, so I've got that there. I've got some lime juice. You could use lemon if you wanted. I just prefer lime. There goes in there. Two limes I'm using. Touch of salt, but be careful if you're using salted or unsalted butter. I'm gonna add now a little bit of turmeric, which will give no flavour whatsoever, but it will give it a really nice colour. And then all of that garlic, finely chopped garlic, there's like two teaspoons I've got there. Play around with it. Get it to be how you want it to be. Give that a nice mix. So butter, lime juice, garlic, salt, and that turmeric for colour. That's gonna go all over our chicken. First, we're going to stuff it. Let's do that. Okay, so with the largest cavity open and it's been cleaned, we're going to get our stuff in and pop her in there. There's no particularly easy way to do this. Get your fingers in there as well if you want. Really press 
this rice mixture in. Want it nice and tight in there. The traditional Moroccan way of doing this is not with rice, it's with a vermicelli noodle. I just prefer it with rice. And it's got a few different spices in it. I think they use green olives and not black for that particular dish. Okay, I've done quite well there. So we just need to clean the edge away. And then you can close this up as much as you can. Cocktail, cocktail sticks are really good for that. Just put a few of them in there. Or you can sew it, staple it, do whatever you like really. Just get it closed up as much as you can so it doesn't give us any headache once we're cooking it. Okay, let's move on. So the next stage is, we're gonna get this ready for the oven. I'm using a Pyrex or an oven proof glass dish. You can use a metal tray if you want, no problem. Now, I've got some onion in there, chunky chopped. I want the flavor of the onion a little bit. I don't want it all over the, 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 the chicken. That's why I didn't add in any inside. I've also got in there just a little splash of water because I don't want this to get dry. Okay, let's get that bird on there. As you can see, I've got a couple of those cocktail sticks, just straight through, easy, easy peasy, that is. Now, let's get our butter mix all over the place. Give it a nice coat. I'm gonna say that trimmer egg is gonna add a beautiful color to this. The butter itself will help baste it. I'm holding just a little bit back because halfway through, at half time, I'm taking that out. I'm gonna flip it over, do the same again. They often say that you should roast a chicken upside down. We tend to roast them like this, but the breast meat is all here and that's where it can get dry. So if you actually roast a chicken or a turkey, in fact, especially turkey, upside down, all the juices with gravity obviously go down and make your breast meat really tender. So that's just a tip generally with, with, with chicken or turkey. So like I say, I've got a lovely cover on that. I'm gonna flip it over halfway through I always find it difficult to tell you how long to put this in your oven now. One, my bird's quite small. You may have a much bigger bird. Two, all ovens are different. So in my oven, this is gonna go in for about 35 minutes in a preheated oven in the middle shelf at about 210. But all ovens are different, so keep your eye on it. Flip it over, don't be scared to get in there and, and, and you, know, you know, flip her over a few times even. Get some more of that lovely garlic butter that we've got. And then I'll see you when this comes out. Okay, there we go then. As you can see, she's out of the oven now. Absolutely beautiful. I've taken those toothpicks out. Just opened it out a little bit now. That stuffing is absolutely delicious. I've turned her over a couple of times and basted her with that extra little bit of butter that we had. This is really delicious. This is not dry in any way. You can see this is really juicy and beautiful. Hope you enjoy this and we'll see you again next time. Take care.